so since we have done with the simple straight skirt now we're going to be cutting a circle skirt okay so the circle skirt is basically 360 degree they call it 360 degree um, skirts okay you don't cut it like you cut in a musket you don't cut it straight like you cut in a musket you cut it like a circle okay but since I don't have a full circle, like you can't even use a full pattern paper, that's like you wasting your pattern paper or your fabric. Okay, so I'll show you how you cut a full 360 degree circle skirt. Okay, after we've done cutting this, then I'll show you how you can do a flat skirt with the pattern for our simple straight skirt. I'm gonna use that to show you how to cut a flat skirt from that okay but now we're going to be doing 360 degree circle skirt okay so for this what do we need basically what we just need for this is because it's going to be a free skirt circle skirts are always free they are never tight always free okay the measurements we need for this is the waist and the length we don't need the waist to hip, just the waist and the length that's what we need for this even the hip basically don't need the hip because it's a free skirt okay so what we're gonna do this is my pattern paper it's not folded it's just one piece let's just cut here then when we're cutting on the fabric i'm gonna explain to you what we're doing how we're gonna achieve that 360. for now what we'll be having right now might be quarter of a circle not even the same circle quarter of a circle that's what we're having right now okay so let's start so uh, my waist is 27, 27 divided by 4, that's 6.75, okay? So basically for this circle skirt here, you can take, like, since my waist is 6.75, I can start from 6 and above, right? Or 5 and above, but it's basically better to start from that 6 you got, or 6.75 and above, okay? So the higher you use, bigger the circle bigger your waist so at the end of what you just do is just to pleat the waist to have more ball effect so if the waist you got maybe your waist is 6.75 and you used five to mark out it might be your exact waist or just few pleating you won't see the ball effect but if your waist is 6.75 and you start marking nine or two trust me when you're putting together the skirt it's going to be so big that you have to pleat so you have enough of pleating going on in the skirt and that will make the skirt very beautiful okay so all these things i'm saying as well let me tell you what we're doing my waist is 27 since my, my fabric paper is so small so i'm going to just work with small measurements okay basically you can make it large to whatever you want but since my fabric paper is small i'll work with what we have here okay my waist is 27 27 divided by 4 that's 6.75 okay so i'm marking with six inches so this is what we do this is how we do here this is my center in my center okay so from this point this point exactly this is my angle 90 degree this is where we start from so you place as i'm working with six right my race is 6.75 but i want to work with six so six let's mark out six this is six so you mark it out so from this point you just keep it you don't take take this out just leave it here and keep moving and see if you are using a compass to draw a circle so like that marking your six and be going like that hope you guys are seeing what i'm doing okay so just put your hand down here and be moving the tape and marking your six and be going just like a compass it works like a compass okay Okay, so now we have we've marked out, just use your hand or a comb ruler to mark it out. If you have a compass, that's perfect. Okay, so we've gotten this. This is basically our waist, right? But it's quarter of our waist. So what we do next, take the length of the skirt. So the length of the skirt starts from this line. Since this is our waistline, Remember, for the simple skirt, our waistline is just straight, right? But now, this is our waistline, so this is where we take our measurements from. So, my measurement, let's see what's left. Let's see what we have here. So, we have 14. Since this is a shorter part of this pattern paper, here it's still long, and here it's very much, very much long. 
So we're gonna work with the shorter length. So I have 14 here. So it's 14 for mark. So you start from this line, just the way you did for this, like from here, like that. That's the same way you did for this, like this, like that, okay? So 14. Okay, 14 is basically at the edge, okay? Then we move the, the tape to another part of the line. So just, all this is just to get a perfect circle. So this is 14. We move the tape again. 14. So that I keep moving the tape to get a nice line. Okay, this is 14. Make sure this time around you're moving the tape. You're not leaving it in one angle to know. Because what you can get here, by the time you put it here, you get a different measurement. So make sure you're moving the tape. Okay, so I move this from here. This is So if there are much gap that you can't join, you just fill it up. Okay, there's space here, so this is 14. to be here this is the length all right so normally you're supposed to add extra allowance for folding but since i don't have any more space i'm gonna leave this and just them with half an inch with what i already have here but if you have space after taking your length then add extra one inch for folding then for the waist for the waist how you add extra how you add um sewing allowance for the waist this is how you do it Come here. Remember, we're going to join the waist to the band. This also has a band. The way you cut the simple band, that's the way you're cutting this. Your waist plus your two inches, 30. That's how you cut the band. It's straight like that. So, is this you now pleat? You pleat on your band. Okay? So, to add allowance for the waist, you add from the inside, not outside. From the inside if you add outside you are reducing in length for one and secondly your waist will become bigger so you have more pleating so if you want your length to reduce mark from the inside so half an inch there's half an inch to join it to the band so just mark half an inch all the way around Okay, hope you're seeing it. So this is our allowance. This is the allowance. So when you put your band on this allowance, then you get your exact waist that it comes down to this, right? It will affect the length of your skirt. But if you're putting your allowance inside, it's definitely gonna affect the length and as well and as well affect the waist measurement. You have more bigger waist for you to be eaten. Okay, so this is done. This is basically done, so we just have to cut it out. Okay, guys, if you notice here, you notice that only cut one. There's no back, there's no front, just one. Okay, because this, by the I cut on the fabric, our fabric will contain for front and for back. So, this is my fabric. I already cut out what I feel to be enough be enough for this skirt if you don't know what to be enough please and please and please just fold your fabric then be sure that okay you've cut it out there and whatever you have left that is it okay so um this is how you fold for circle skirts this is my fabric I already folded into two right it's already folded into two okay now into four are you seeing that do you see what I just did? This is the fabric. I folded it into two. This is the folded part. This is the folded part. Then after into two, you bring this edge to meet up with this edge. Like this. 
So the edges are meeting up. These two edges are meeting up. Make sure it's neatly folded. There's no peppering anywhere. So now I'm having how many? four fabrics all right they are all folded into four okay so you fold into two first then the other into two so now let me tell my fabric this way this is the midpoint for all the four fabrics this is the midpoint okay the point where you fold it you're not using here that is open no here no here that has two fold edges no using the one with just one folded for all of them okay so this is where we're starting from make sure your fabric is perfectly sitting okay so this is what we do this waistline has to face this pointed edge okay see this folded line are you seeing this folded line make sure this part completely sitting on that line like it's equal to that line okay here is sitting here is sitting all right so make sure it's in alignment okay see here is sitting here has to sit as well okay i'm gonna pin it down okay so i'm gonna pin it down Make sure that here it's sitting here, this other end is sitting here, okay? So assuming we didn't use this pattern paper, fold your fabric like this. You want to cut directly on your fabric, right? Fold your fabric like this, then just do exactly what we did. Six here, you take six all the way around, take your length, you join all the way around, then you cut, like you cut directly on the fabric. But since we use the pattern paper, we're going to place the pattern paper, paper on the fabric, okay? So this is our place it, making sure that the edges, they do match up with the fabric. So I'm going to pin it down. This pattern paper is not so straight, like here. It's already kind of like shutting the bit, but here it's still very much straight, okay? So just make sure it's here is matching up, here is matching up, and the two points are also matching up. So I'm going to cut the fabric now. So since I didn't add allowance, I didn't have enough space in my pattern paper, alright, to add an allowance for the length. So I'm going to add it now. I'm going to add my one inch allowance all the way around, then cut. Alright, so I'm going to have enough. I'm going to have enough. So if you don't have any allowance in your paper, when you put cut into your fabric, you can actually do the allowance on your fabric. So let's just add one inch. So I'm done cutting it. So what we're going to do next is to... See, I have two here. There's two folded lines here. This part is just one. So you let this one be. So these two parts that there is folded lines, you open up one, just one, okay? That's because where you put your zip, it stays at the back. So where you put your zip, that is why you have to open it up, okay? So I'm opening up just one of it. This is for the zipper area, okay? This is for the zipper area, and that's it. So when you open your skirts, So when, when folding, make sure you fold on the wrong side, okay? This is the right side, this is the wrong side. Make sure you fold on the okay? So this is the circle effect. This is the circle effect we're talking about. So if... This is why it's called the circle skirt. Okay. So how much of this piece I just cut out? Have you seen why it's called the circle skirt? This is it. So this is where the zip is going to stay. So when we are sewing it, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to do the band. You already know how I'm going to cut the band. 
your waist plus two inches, that's the length of the band. Then five inches for the width. On, not, not on the fold, 